Hi, welcome to Muzzle First. Today I wanted to talk about these little uh, Allen gun socks. You can buy these um, everywhere. I mean, you can get them at Walmarts, you can get them online, uh, you can buy them at most gun stores. And Allen's not the, also not the only one that makes these. They just happen to be the only ones that I have here to show today. And I want to show some um, key features about this. But before we get started, they do make them in a couple different sizes. Um, they make them for handguns. They make them for rifles. They also make some special models for, like, the AR. Um, they do state these as being uh, able to use on scopes, rifles with scopes. But it is a very tight fit. You can see they are stretchable. They do stretch. So you can fit them over a decent sized rifle. But um, going over a scope can be a little bit challenging with them. Um, but they do have, um, like I said, they do have different versions of this. If you've got an AR, there are special ones for the AR. They're a little bit bigger. Um, but I want to show you one thing about these, these Allen gun socks real quick. And then I'll show you, I'll give you an idea of what they'll fit. So when you buy these... Um, you will find Allen gun socks. I guess you can see the label down there. Made in China. And you can also find them made in USA. Um, I'm not sure if they switched over to um, made in the USA products or if they switched over to made in China products or if they're still making them on both releases. I'm not positive about that. You do notice that it is marked Made in USA R1. Um, and then this one is uh, Made in China R3. I bought these at the same time. I ordered these online. I ordered uh, like five of them. And that's what I got. I got a mixture. So my guess is they're switching production um, to one or the other. Or maybe they're just having both made in both places. My guess is they're probably switching production. Um, so we'll, I guess it will remain to be seen whether one of those goes away, whether the Made in the USA ones go away or not. But anyway, let's take a quick look at them. And you can also see it on the uh, tags here. Every one of them is gonna ha will have a tag on it, identifying it. Um, this one here is Made in the USA. It's one of the 14-inch pistol socks. This is one of the uh, rifle socks. You cannot see, obviously, Made in China. another one made in China um, as for the colors you can get these in several different colors um, but they're all pretty much the same thing they're all a knit sock you can also get what they call a gun sleeve which is um, a little different material than a sock they usually use more like a felt type material for those and they're a little stiffer uh, a lot of people prefer those uh, they may provide a little more protection but these have always worked just fine for me um, I like these things I like them a lot and we'll go into some uses here in a little bit. But uh, first, let's talk about what they'll cover. It is a 14 inch sock for the handguns. You see, it is stretchable. It is kind of elastic material. It doesn't stretch much in length. But, all right, so let's talk briefly about what you can store in these. Um, and I'm going to concentrate on the handgun sleeves today, on the handgun socks. Um, as you can see, it is a nice, stretchy, knitted material. And it's a pretty heavy material. Um, I mean, you, it's, it's, they call it socks because it kind of is like an old tube sock. Um, if you remember the old tube socks, other than it's not the cottony material, it's a, it's a polyester type material. But, all right, let's start with uh, something simple. simple. Um, little uh, 642, little Smith & Wesson J-frame. Obviously, not a problem. Lots of extra room there. All right, let's go a little bit larger. All right, let's go with, how about this? Ruger GP100, full-size 357 Magnum. Quite a jump up from that uh, little J-frame there. But, as you can see, a little harder to get in it, but it fits without a problem. And it'll go all the way over the handle. There you go. So we do still have some room in there. All right. And you can see you can see the material. The material is not fully stretched yet either. So you can fit. Um, if you have a short barreled 500 Magnum, you can fit it in there. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but 
All right, what do we do next? Let's try this one. All right, so this is a Springfield XD. This is the full size. See, just check here so there is nothing in it. All right, Springfield XD. So you can see it's a little bit of a stretch here between the trigger because of just because of the way it's shaped, but it obviously goes in there without a problem. You got a little bit of a, it fits differently because of the shape of the gun, but obviously it goes right around it. It bends over the, the sight, the back of the slide, fits without a problem. Just in case you're wondering whether or not this will fit your gun, chances are pretty good it'll fit. I only have one gun it doesn't fit perfectly, and I don't have it down here with me today. All right, next one. This is a Ruger 19, 1911, full size. As you can see, there's nothing in it. It is empty. Empty magazine. All right, 1911. Obviously, I would have it decocked if I was going to store it in here, but there we go. Not a problem. Actually, it's slimmer, and it fits a little better in there than that uh, Springfield XD does. But as you can see, you can put just about any firearm in here that you want. Um, you don't need to... Uh, you don't need to get a real big gun sock. These four, standard 14-inch gun socks will fit most of your handguns. Um, the only problem that you'll have run into is if you got something that's about a 7-inch barrel, you're going to run out of gun sock before you go over the, the butt of the gun. But... All right, uses for these gun socks. Um, I'll tell you what I use them for, and then we'll go into a couple other uses. Um, so when you buy a gun safe, you'll buy a gun safe that'll say it's rated for 30 long guns. Good luck fitting 30 long guns in that gun safe. You're closer to getting about 20 in it. Um, so what I use gun socks for, these long guns, I put the long guns in these gun socks, and then you can fit them in your safe without worrying about them getting scratched up. That's my primary use for them. I don't worry, I'm not using them so much for environmental reasons. Uh, my firearms are all secured away, but I can't not fit 30 guns in a 30 gun safe. It just doesn't work for me. Not in the safes that I, not in the mid range safes that I have anyway. But you put them in these gun socks, and then it doesn't matter if the butts of the gun are together. Um, and you can also do, um, when they're in these gun socks, you can stack, you can stagger the guns so that you'll have a butt down and then barrel down and then butt down and barrel down. You can fit more guns in there that way too, but I wouldn't do it without gun socks because you will get some serious rubbing on the guns. If you don't, you'll end up getting scratches if you're conscious of that thing. All right, so if you don't have a gun safe, these will be great. So if you store your shotgun or your rifle, you just stand it up in the closet um, I don't recommend it, but if you do, this would protect it. Um, it would keep it from uh, drawing a lot of moisture. It'll keep it dry and it'll keep it, uh, if it does fall over, it'll protect a little bit from scratches. So if you, um, if you don't have a lot of guns, maybe you just got one handgun, you've got it stuck in a drawer somewhere, um, put one of these on it. Put a, put a gun sock on it, stick it in there, and it'll protect it from... Uh, you know, moisture or whatever. Um, these are um, silicone impregnated, so they are supposed to uh, help protect the guns a little bit from moisture. But that's about it. I wanted to show this to you. Um, if you don't, if you're not using these, um, I bet you've got a use for these. Um, these are these are handy. These are really handy. Um, even if you don't have uh, um, transport them. If you're transporting your guns and you want to put, you know, two or three of them to a case, put them in gun socks. Then you don't you don't have to worry about them getting all dinged up. Like you go into the range, and my range bag only has uh, I only have sleeves in my bag for two guns. But if I put them in gun socks, then I can put a couple more in there. I don't have to worry about the uh, guns running rubbing against each other and ding, getting dings on them and stuff. 
but that's it won't be a quick video a nice short video but uh like i said i don't know um if i find out for sure that they are getting rid of maybe the made in china version or maybe get i suspect it's the made in china version because this one is a label that's put over the top of the standard label um underneath this i don't know if it'll come through on camera or not but you can just barely see the upc code under it so this actually you can see it's definitely been relabeled so my hope is that they're actually going to this they're going to the made in the usa versions i mean not that that matters that much i don't know i don't see a whole lot of difference in quality um the quality to me looks the same the stitching looks the same the material feels the same i don't really uh so you know, if you look at the look at the stitching on these this one's made in china this one's made in the usa um i mean stitching's good on both it's about the same so i don't necessarily know that one's better than the other being in the usa i do prefer stuff that's made here but that's not always possible um, these are fairly inexpensive price wise um you can get these online um five bucks a piece something like that if you get them online the um about eight dollars a piece online ten dollars a piece for the rifle gun socks but you can order these in bulk you can get a little, little better deal than that if you're you know willing to order five or ten of them at a time you can get more a little more of a discount on them but in the gun store i think there's about eight bucks a piece and those were about 12 14 but i have bought them in the gun stores if i when i buy a new gun um if i don't if they don't give me something i'll buy a gun sock to carry it home in i do buy a lot of used guns that don't come with the cases so i like to have a gun sock for them to carry them home in but all right that's about it got any questions let me know um please like the video below subscribe and uh let me know if you got any questions have a good day bye